Potential expansion in the South Bay. Chula Vista leaders just voted on a resolution that could expand its city limits, but not everyone wants the new land to be a part of the city. Fox 5's Zara Barker attended the meeting tonight and has both sides of the argument. The Chula Vista City Council voted unanimously to approve this annexation tonight, which is just northeast of Otai Lakes, but this does not mean it goes into effect right away. There are several more organizations and hoops that this annexation would have to jump through before it gets finalized. The South Bay could be growing. Okay, and it passes unanimously. And it's just the beginning. It's a long process, believe me. A resolution to annex 1,869 acres from San Diego County into Chula Vista city limits passed during Tuesday night city council meeting. But the land, commonly known as Otai Ranch Village 13, is not transferred yet and is awaiting more approval. Otai Ranch Village 13 has always been intended to be part of the city of Chula Vista. And the impacts that the Village 13 will have will be substantial to our residents. While the council and developer Baldwin and Sons, which plans to build homes on the land, are for the process. We're very excited at this first step with Village 13 and potentially bring it to the city of Chula Vista. It doesn't have everyone's stamp of approval. We're the firefighters of San Diego County Fire Protection District, and we stand adamantly opposed to this annexation. And I believe most of the residents will want to make sure that they get top-notch services like our fire, like our police. For them to say that, you know, that we're not going to provide as good a service as Chula Vista Fire, it's not, we're going to provide the same. We're all brothers and sisters in the fire service. We have a great relationship with them. Patrick Walker with the Cal Fire Firefighters Local 2881 says he wants to see the development move forward, but stay within the county limits. That is our property. That's our responsibility. That's our jurisdiction. You know, we would not go into the city of Chula Vista and ask to take 1,800 acres of theirs. They're going to use city services. They're going to play in city parks. They're going to play Little League in city, in city Little Leagues. The people are going to shop in Chula Vista. So by any metric, they're really going to be Chula Vista residents. We just want them to get the full experience and to have this be a part of Chula Vista. And it was always uh, meant to be part of the city of Chula Vista. So this is nothing new. And then we'll just have to let the process work out. The Chula Vista City Council did their part to approve this annexation on their end. Now the rest of this process lies in the hands of the San Diego County Local Agency Formation Commission. They're the ones that gives the final stamp of approval on this annexation, but it's not going to be a fast process. We're told that this could take several months, even longer than a year to get this annexation finalized. In Chula Vista, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.